I'm Georgia. I'm a PhD student in Zurich visiting the Kreiman lab at the Harvard Medical School. I'm working on developing algorithms that are biologically plausible and that aim to train neural networks in a neuroscience plausible way. We've had the pleasure of having uh, Georgia as a visiting student who has been working with us for, uh, for, for several months uh, to try to tackle one of the fundamental questions in, in artificial intelligence and neuroscience now, which has to do with the basic uh, mechanisms of uh, learning in neural networks. Nowadays, most of the artificial neural networks algorithms that work on current devices, they are trained using the backpropagation algorithm, which is really powerful. And yet, despite these uh, uh, amazing successes, uh, as soon as the backpropagation paper came out, uh, Francis Crick uh, published a paper in Nature saying that backpropagation was not biologically plausible, that that's not how the brain works, essentially. In the backpropagation algorithm, you show an input to the network. It goes throughout the network and you have an output. Then you use the output to compute an error, which travels back to the network through exactly the same parameters that the input traveled to. And this is not biologically plausible because when you go from the input to the output, the network is active, but when the error goes from the output to the input, the network is frozen. So our idea was we take the error out the output and then we um, add it to the input and then the input travels again through the network with the error added on top. And then we use the information on the error added to the input to update the parameters. What is really cool about our approach um, is that uh, neuroscience uh, justifies it. Because um, in biological systems in the brain, there are the so-called um, global neuromodulators that can modify uh, the activity uh, in some areas of the brain. And global neuromodulators have been shown to modify the activity in the early stages of visual processing. So for example, in LGN or B1. We tested our approach uh, on different image classification tasks, uh, including MNIS, C410 and C400. And we compared the performance of our algorithm with backpropagation and with other biologically inspired algorithms, such as feedback alignment. And we observed uh, that our algorithm performs slightly worse than backpropagation, but in a comparable way compared to the other uh, uh, biologically inspired algorithms. Our algorithm uh, is the first uh, uh, learning strategy uh, that shows that neural networks can be trained uh, without any backward computation, but through only forward passes. So it could have interesting applications, for example, in hardwares in which you cannot perform backward passes, but just forward passes. Uh, and also it's a, a step forward in the development of algorithms that are more compatible with how the brain works. Ultimately, we'd like to build networks that can learn the way animals and humans do uh, and that can inherit all the properties of uh, natural intelligence and, and learning in natural systems. So until now we've shown that our algorithm works well on simple networks and simple tasks and the next step is to develop a version of the algorithm that can be applied to train more complex networks on, on more complex tasks. And one way that we are exploring to do that is uh, uh, to use different ways to incorporate the error on top of the input, or for example, use network architectures with residual connections.